you need to go and get some manners. I've been sitting in this meeting for two and a half hours. I haven't been offered a cup of water, no coffee, Danish or muffin. I mean, I'm a big sister. I need nourishment. And another thing, I gave you my business card two weeks ago, two weeks ago, and it had an email address on it. So why, when I go into my Facebook account, I get a personal message from you asking me for a business meeting, but yet you're commenting on a yellow dress that I wore last week. Come on, man, you need to get some manners. Especially if you're networking. What was that? I saw you for two seconds. You came in, you handed me your business card, told me your name and your title, and then you were gone. I'm like, okay, what was that? I'm looking at your card, and guess where it's going? In the trash. Okay, um, honey, what are you wearing? That is not appropriate for a business networker. Maybe the beach, but nobody needs to see your girls. You know what I mean? And the dress, the skirt, a little hiked up, and those big heels. Really, baby, are you going to tip over? Not attractive, and certainly not businesslike. No one's taking you seriously. Promise you. They're not even looking in your face, if you know what I mean. And wait a minute. Did you come here to eat and drink? So you've got your hand full of food and you've got a drink in your hand and you're drinking way too many? That's not what business networkers are about, honey. Food popping out of your mouth while you're talking? Food popping out of your mouth while you're talking? Not a very good first impression. And believe me, somebody sizes you up in five seconds. And if you're eating and drinking and looking like you're ready for, you know what? They're not taking you seriously at all. How y'all doing, folks, ladies and gentlemen, out in TV land? This is uh, Edmond Dubois, Own Your Power Correspondent. And today's topic is why you gotta go get some manners. It's actually a sale at Target, 20% off. You can get a quick little two weeks of manners in case y'all didn't have that home training. And that's what we're gonna start with, home training. For those of y'all who are lacking manners, I know off the bat, something was not right at home. So, we're gonna start with number one. In the mornings, in the evenings, in the streets, wherever you're at, acknowledge people, brothers, sisters, show love, good morning, good evening, how are you, hello, nice to meet you. In the elevator, you know how many times I ride the elevator and people look at each other like they're about to get jacked? I'm just saying. I know that sometimes I have a little thuggish look at me, but it happens when I'm in a suit, shirt and tie, and cats are looking at me like they're afraid. So a simple good morning, good afternoon, have a nice day, does not mean I'm trying to rap to you. It just means I was trained properly and it was, it was what I was taught how to acknowledge other people. Number one. So number two reason why you gotta go get some manners. It's about personal hygiene. It's really about not being offensive to others. Now, it's one thing if you can tolerate your own smell. That's your business. Come on, y'all. We in a public setting. We in a workplace. Whatever. How you gonna come to work and you haven't really taken care of what you gotta take care of from brushing your teeth, a little soap and water, a little lotion. All I'm saying is, people, it goes back to loving yourself. But hygiene is, is a direct correlation with manners and etiquette. Come on, y'all. Do the right thing, please. Shower, brush your teeth, do what do. Take care of those little things. Lastly, real, real, real important, y'all. For those of you who are mommies and daddies, and those of y'all who know me, know. I got a young princess that I'm raising. Teach your children to have manners because it's gonna be those same kids that are gonna grow up and when you need them and you're in your elderly stage and they're gonna be dissing you and disrespecting you and throwing you in a senior citizen's assisted living home. Why do you think that's gonna happen? Because you haven't taught them manners. So love your elders, love, teach your children to love their elders, love each other. I'm gonna leave it at that, y'all. Peace out. Thank you so much for tuning into today's show about etiquette and manners. And we're not done yet. We actually have one more expert to go. Her name is Tammy Covington, and she's one of Own Your Power's favorite etiquette consultants. And her company is called Tammy Tells the Truth. So get ready, because Tammy is going to tell you the truth. Thank you, Simone. There were so many really great points made during this show. I think it's important to remember that the world is not centered around us. I think that people forget sometimes that Common courtesies and um, professional and business etiquette will take you a long, long way. Let's start off by talking about your social media footprint. What does your social media footprint say about you? What kind of photographs and content do you have on your, on your public websites, on your Facebook, on your Twitter account, on your LinkedIn account? I think these are some things that we have to take into consideration. In addition, how about simple things like holding the door for someone or saying please and thank you? 
don't forget that even if you think that you are brought up with these things, that these things are learned and this is something that you have easy access to, once again, I think that we have to just remember that the world is not set up around us. And we have everybody else in the world that we have to live with, that we have to contend with, we have to deal with. And I think it would make the world so much easier if we remember simple common courtesies. If you want to learn more about me, my name is Tamisa Covington or Tammy Covington, and you can reach me at Tammy Tell Me the Truth on Facebook or follow me on Twitter at TammyCovington.com. Thank you so much, Tammy, for those amazing tips. And I'm sure people watching this show probably found out that they might have been an offender. And if you have any friends that didn't follow any of those tips, make sure you forward them the video as well, because I know a lot of people out there don't have any home training. That's why we did this show. Uh, also, I want to thank all of you for watching season one and making it an amazing first season of Own Your Power TV. We'll be back in December with season two, and we need your support, and we'd love to have you as a partner. So all you have to do is click the link below, and you can find out about our partnership opportunities. And lastly, I'd love to thank Ginger Bay for letting us use their amazing space out here in Hollywood, the delicious restaurant, all this amazing Jamaican food and great music. I would love for you guys to all check it out because this is one of my favorite places to hang out in Hollywood, Florida. Well, it's the end of the season, so hope you have an amazing rest of the holidays. And remember, anything you want is attainable. Own your power. Oh